Hello everybody, so today we're back here in Trailmakers, and I'm going to show you guys this robot dog thing that I made that's kind of inspired by the one from Boston Dynamics. So without further ado, let's get on with the showcase. Okay guys, so first things first, we should probably take this over to the area kind of over here, just because there's some terrain to kind of test out the walking on. Alright, so now that we're over here, I'm going to show you guys how well this thing walks, and then I'm going to give it some obstacles to walk over, because this thing is designed to walk up hills and over rocks and stuff like that. So let's start walking. And this thing has a pretty good stride, and it runs around 18 to 19 miles per hour when it really gets going. That looks more like 18 to 17 right now. But it uses no thrusters at all, not even to slow the fall, it's all just walking. And suspension it has a little light on the top if we turn it to night you can see the light working so if you wanted to explore something dark I guess you could not like there's really any maps that this would be useful on but I just built it for fun so it doesn't really matter back to daylight if we go over to a flat piece of ground I gave this thing the ability to strafe like this it looks a little bit funny, but it does work pretty well. And you can strafe the other way. Just like kind of like the real one. And it can also do some sort of like crouch maneuver. Helps it absorb falls better if you jump and land. And it just uses a basic piston on 50 speed to jump. Because I don't want it to jump too high. But it does work pretty well. And it ends up having a really nice walking animation once it gets going. Oops. Sometimes it bounces a little bit if it doesn't have a nice start. There we go. Okay. So now that I showed you guys that, I'm going to attempt to climb up some rocks right here. I'm going to see if I can walk over these. And I think it will handle it pretty well. Alright guys. So we're going to try and climb up this. Sometimes it does break, but that's just because the block hits it weird. And there's nothing I can really do about that. But if we just try and walk up, take it slowly, you'll see it can handle small rocks really well. So, and then we'll go up here. Oops, we're getting a little bit bouncy. There we go. And you can see it handles it pretty nicely. And I have some gyros in here that help it stay upright, but they're very weak. I think they're only set to strength three. So this thing can tilt a decent bit. And unfortunately, it cannot walk up steep hills, but it can walk up mild hills, which is pretty nice, and I will show that shortly. It's also worth mentioning, this thing can jump to kind of get on top of stuff if it needs to. So if I run up to this and jump, I can get the front legs up. And once the front legs are up, I can get the rest of the body up by walking. So yeah, it works pretty well, and the strafe is pretty cool. And I think it was important to kind of strike a balance between making this thing somewhat realistic, but also, like, being able to easily handle rough terrain. So I did use gyros to turn instead of using the legs to turn. And then um, I do have gyro stabilizers keeping it upright, of course. Um, but I will probably make a version in the future that just tries to balance itself, and I'll try to make a version that, you know, like can turn without using any gyros but until then i think this will do so now let's try and walk this up a hill now i would like to mention i'm not going to put this in the workshop just because it's kind of buggy and i want to make something a little bit better before i release it but it is still pretty cool and i figured i'd show it off so if we walk over here you'll notice that we're kind of on slanted ground now and this thing can walk up um, this kind of hill right here. Not this hill, but this like kind of pathway. And it can actually climb up that hill if you can get past this first little part. It just does it really slowly. But yeah, we can walk up this. Here we go. And of course, it's a little bit slower, but it does still work. And there we go. So we just walked up, you know, a slight incline without any problems. And now, of course, we can walk up this bigger hill although we might struggle to get up this first little bit but I will just put a time lapse
Alright guys, now we're up that first little bit. We can approach these rocks and we're going to try and climb them. And then I'm going to do a time lapse of kind of trying to go up this hill. Here we go. Alright, so it's handling these rocks. And these rocks are especially hard to climb. Because not only are they just rocks, which is pretty difficult to climb in general. But they're also slanted. So it's like an extra little challenge for this thing. But it still can handle it pretty nicely. And then we can walk off the other side. And continue our way up the hill at a very slow pace albeit all right guys well i'm not gonna walk all the way up because i don't have all the time in the world and this thing is pretty slow but it is a pretty good proof of concept for my first ever um quadruped mech so the last thing i'm gonna do is i'm gonna show you guys how well it handles stairs and then we'll be finished with the video all right guys now that we're down in this area i'm just gonna quickly test our controls and flat surface and you can see they all work pretty well and they all work all right so i'm gonna show you guys how well this thing can handle some stairs so we're gonna go down this little hill there we go this thing handles going downhill very well and it recovers from it, it goes back to stable walking pretty quickly Alright, so if we walk over to these stairs right here, um, you know, it's a little bit tough, but it can do it once it gets going. So here we go. And there we go. Perfect. Handled the stairs really nicely this time. Sometimes it struggles, but I guess not this time. And we'll try it one more time for good measures. Here we go. And yep, okay, it's still handling it pretty well. Oh, but it did break a little bit. So yeah, sometimes the, um, like, shin will kind of collide with the ground and it'll break but that only happens when you're climbing stuff that'll never happen in normal walking but it is worth noting so maybe that's something i could try and fix to the next version but yeah i think this thing ended up turning out pretty good and it can do what it's meant to do pretty well so if you guys enjoyed today's video consider leaving a like and subscribing if you'd like to and i will see you guys next time goodbye